you're over 30, whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, whatever, and you're not checked up, you've got options. Let me walk you through the options. <laughs> you've got three main options available to you. Option number one, and this one makes a bit of a mockery of the there's not going to be anyone left theory, is you can date younger people. You can. There is a steady stream of people <laughs> coming up from below. And you can date them. You can. If you can not vomit in your own mouth when they tell you they were born in 1998, you can date these people. <laughs> 1998. It's 2016, people. Do you know what the age of consent is? I don't know what it is in this country because it's very difficult to ask that question without seeming like you have a horrendous ulterior motive. <laughs> I'm like, go, just out of curiosity, what is the legal age of consent? Just, just check it, just want to make sure, right? But in the UK where I live, it's 16, and it's 2016. Do you know what that means? Yeah, you all worked it out. You can now legally fuck someone who never set foot in the 20th century. You tell them you want to party like it's 1999, they've got no fucking idea what you're talking about. option number one. Judging by the noise a lot of you made, not fans of option number one. <laughs> Don't know why you're not. It's benefits to option number one. Young people are fucking gorgeous. People in their 20s, gorgeous. You know what the best thing about people in their 20s is? They don't realise they're gorgeous. Makes it easier to catch them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's option number one. You don't like option number one? Fine, let's move on to option number two. Option number two, you can do no matter what age you are. Option number two is that you just lower your standards. <laughs> just lower your fucking standards, people. You don't have to be 30 for that time, but if we locked the doors and kept drinking, it'd fucking happen here tonight. <laughs> what if people don't like shop option, number, option number two? They're like, sounds a bit grim. <laughs> yeah, and it is. But you've all had this night, you know, start of the night, who's that creepy guy? End of the night, that's the new boyfriend! <laughs> that's option number two. A lot of people don't like option number two or option number one. Fine, fine, but now you are limited to option number three, which is a bit of a favourite of mine. Like option number three. I think option number three is certainly the most emotionally responsible of the three. Option number three is that you just chill the fuck <laughs> out and wait for the first round of divorces to come through. <laughs> That's the thing, every time, two people off the market, two people off the market. What they don't tell you is, they come back on the market. <laughs> they do. And they are not the same jolly people they were when they went off. People skip off the market like this. La la la. And they come back on like this. <laughs> That's when you're waiting there going, oh, hi. Dents in the side, but a Porsche is still a Porsche, people. 